James Duncan O'Brien, and I live the dream life. <laughs> Can't read, it says Mexico. Here we are, round two. We're back, car's dirty. Doesn't start, kind of screwed. <laughs> We just pulled up to the airport to greet Shane Dorian, and uh, I got my Speedos on, and I got a sign for him, and yeah, hopefully he's here. Let's go get Barrel. Let's do it. Let's yeah. do it. Uh, we just picked up Shane Dorian. We're gonna go back to our hotel and get everything ready for tomorrow, and it's gonna be huge. I feel like I just blinked my eyes last night. It's kind of good though. You want to wake up early. The waves sound big. Sounds like the waves are cranking. The biggest swell in 12 years. We're getting ready. Shane Dorn's with us, Jamie O'Brien, Ryan Hipwood, and Poopies. <laughs> He's scared as shit right now. <laughs> <laughs> that's, that's straight firing. huge and super treacherous. There's a lot of rips out there, a lot of undertow. I mean, even for someone who has a ton of experience out there, it's a pretty scary situation. So when it was time for Poops to go out on the inner tube, I was I was pretty blown away. I, I could tell he was pretty nervous. Oh, you're in Mexico. It's 15 feet. You could see it in his eyes that he was pretty worried about being out there. From time to time, I think we all need a little bit of a push. Jamie and Poopy's dynamic is like the perfect amount of pressure that kind of Jamie puts on Poopy's. It's really cool that kind of Jamie Pushes him a little bit over the edge, gives him that extra confidence, you know, to go out there when the waves are big or go out there in some radical situation. Go back, go, go. The ultimate rafting conditions right now. It's ultimate, huh? It's Poopy's moment. It's where he steps his game up, where he shines. I took Poops out on the raft. Um, I didn't think he, he really realized how big it actually was. He starts going down, and then slow motion, right back up, and it just, it just got so steep and he just took the latest drop on the ravel. And the thing just exploded. It was like one of the bigger waves uh, he's ever caught. And he was tripping, but he was kind of like, let's get another one. So I was like, get okay, right back out there, you know. Then I was like, no, let's do a couple doubles. We jump on the raft doubles, and um, 
Ryan Hippo from Australia, he's a Looney Tune. Like, you don't want to be behind the jet ski with Hippo. You know, when they told me to whip a man at the start, I'm like, what happens if I kill Poopies? Jamie's like, don't worry about him, he's fine. Hippo starts flying out and there's just like 15 foot wave and he just starts whipping around. I was just going, oh. The funny part is, is I'm laughing through adrenaline, like just adrenaline junkie. Just like, ah! I think I was hyperventilating from holding my breath for so long and trying to catch my breath and so much energy was wasted that I broke down and I kind of seen my life flash before my eyes right there at, the, at that moment and it was the scariest moment of my life. The wave just mows us over and just sends us in the swirl. We just start flipping any which way direction. I hit poopies a couple times underwater, next thing you know. I pop up like 10 seconds later, Poopies pops up. He's done looking at me, Jamie, what do I do? What do I do? There's like a 15 footer on her head, just smokes us. I, I, got, I got work, really good. It's all good. I'm so sorry, Poops. It's all good, it happens. We had to get a clip today. Hippo was all fired up that we were getting waves on the raft. He couldn't stop laughing. He thought it was hysterical until I asked him, hey, let's get one, let's get you one on the raft. All I could think was screw Jamie, you know, get me into this situation again. Jamie gets an evil laugh going and it's just like, you know you're up for, for something crazy, you know, some sort of antics. And then next thing you know, he's on the rope and it's like, yes, I can't wait to tow him into the biggest wave I see. This trip came about because uh, Shane, Dorian, and I were talking about doing a double barrel GoPro um, shoot down here in Mexico. Right after we talked about a week later, this giant big blob just kind of popped on the map. And I got a call from Jamie saying the waves look like they're gonna be epic and get your stuff ready. It's funny because usually your whole goal is to not get dropped in on by somebody. You know, you never want to be really riding behind someone like normally, especially in really heavy conditions. So to go out there with a the plan to ride behind somebody and actually pull into the barrel and you're probably not going to make it is, is something you sort of have to mentally prepare for. It was pretty wild because it, it is super dangerous. We got, we got boards flying, both of us going over the falls at the same time. We're really lucky we both didn't get more hurt. It was crazy because we didn't really know what to expect or how to pull it off, how to execute the shots that we really wanted to nail. And um, 
I think it was just the tip of the iceberg, what we got, but it was pretty cool. Like we had some moments in there that were just pure gold and um, it was a lot of fun and we got pounded and my neck's a little bit sore and I got a mouthful of sand and what well, was a blast. Next time on Who is JLB 5.0.